When she finally calms down, I wipe away her tears. It's time we started heading home. Where is the bully? She told me about my friends who, from the sound of it, were definitely Tomo and Akimi, and what she heard them saying. Huh. That doesn't seem like something they'd say. You must have misunderstood something. I'll ask about it tomorrow, though. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, I said. Even if you heard them right, I won't abandon you. Uh, was I said <laughs> in the quotes? I... I don't know. Did I fuck that up? <laughs> I You clicked through it too fast. was like, what? Oh, even if what they said, I think. <laughs> don't worry, I said. No, I... I, I don't know. Okay. Thank you. I might want to check later. <laughs> She's still upset, but there's genuine relief in her voice. We soon arrive at Sachi's home. I'll deal with my friends, don't worry. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Um, Senpai? Yeah? Uh, can, can I... Can I be your girlfriend? <laughs> Someday. <laughs> and he walks off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna? <laughs> it's almost as bad. <laughs> yes! What did you think? <laughs> well then, I guess this is the official start of our relationship. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> this is so clinical. Like, <laughs> Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I can take the Jenkins account. <laughs> Is he my girlfriend? <laughs> like, <laughs> Sachi looks so happy throughout this whole awkward exchange. It makes me that much happier seeing her like that. And I smile back at her. I gotta be fair, though. Um, I'm not sure how that's supposed to go. Like, two <laughs> high school kids being like, do you, do you want to go out? Okay. It's like, I, I can't think of a way where that wouldn't sound a little bit awkward. <laughs> Because it's it's for high school yeah, kids. Yeah, Neither of them have done this before. Um. Then see you tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow. <laughs> just do, 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 just walks away. <laughs> yeah. All right. There we go. The next day. We've not had. Time. We have not had this many people on screen before. It's yeah, weird. We've never had three. It is a little strange. It's a little crowded in here. I'm eating with Tomo and Akimi in our usual spot. The empty classroom. There's like but this time we have a fourth person joining us. There's like twelve desks and four people, and that feels crowded. <laughs> We've never noticed it before, but with the door on the right hand side and the wall on the left, this number of desks actually makes this room look extremely crowded. It have we ever pointed out how small this room is? Like, how yeah. claustrophobic it is. The distance between the desks is, is less than half an arm's length. You would not be able to raise your arms without smacking the person sitting next to you. And this, this looks like a room that's like 10 foot by 10 foot. It is most intended to seat like two dozen people. Yeah, and I don't really know what it's like in, in Japanese classrooms, but like there's no like shelving this. on the side. There's no bookcase on the yeah, side. No, there's this, no posters or visual aids this would there's be no wrong. <laughs> there's no desk or even like a well, no, there's like there's, a podium it's just what's her face is covering it i appreciate i really appreciate that this guy did backgrounds himself mm -hmm. um i feel like his perspective could use work yeah just I mean, like there's uh, there's very few artists you couldn't say that about i think perspective is something that's a constant struggle for everyone except maybe like architects like i've heard that like yeah. when you literally a trained architect is kind of like yeah. you go to college to do this um i'm usui sachi nice to meet you oh chiai tamori <laughs> a pleasure i don't know how to pronounce <laughs> my name we haven't gotten their last name so no. or maybe yeah, no, at the we, very beginning i don't, uh, I don't know i don't we think did, we did actually <laughs> I'm Tsunami Akimi. Nice to meet ya. Sorry about yesterday. I guess you were the one I saw running away. Now that I review how our conversation went, I can see how you could have misunderstood our intentions. Also, do those, those um, halogen lights up there, we, those fluorescent lights... We've talked about them before. Like they're, they're, like, they're connected via a single pole. Yeah, and yeah. that feels dangerous <laughs> and unlikely. That's not how halogen lights work. Yeah. 
<laughs> you'd flip like a light switch and they'd start spinning or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really sorry. We don't hate you, Sacha. Not even a little bit. <laughs> It's okay. I was the one eavesdropping when I shouldn't have been, and I almost caused trouble between you two and Mamoru Senpai. Please forgive me. This morning, I told Tomo and Akimi about what happened yesterday. Sachi definitely misunderstood what they meant. They didn't want to get her out of my life, of course. They just really wanted to meet her. We could have literally started the chapter here, and nothing would have changed. <laughs> There was the whole love confession girlfriend um, thing. That could have happened at the end of the date. <laughs> yeah! You, this could have been rewritten to have completely removed... Uh, I, I mean, like, I'm sure that because it's a dating sim, what they want to do is romance is they want to play on emotions, which means they want to find moments that they can have that are emotional where they can kind of push that. Yeah, they want the and love thing to be tearful well, somehow. you want the love thing, you want tears occasionally, you want stronger emotions than just base nothingness. And putting the love confession at the end of the date could have been good. It wouldn't have been teary, but it would have been like... And you could have made it intense. Yeah. It would have worked. I mean, but... social fear is a large part of her thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, I kind of get it, but it, it could have been structured differently. It could have been structured yeah. better, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like it was a missed opportunity for someone to have shown up on their date. Yeah, nobody, nothing, nobody has shown not up. Not a single um, hitch. We, we've seen Sadakawa once. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? In fact, I'd say it worked out perfectly, since it gave us an excuse to bring Sachi to the classroom for lunch. This is you. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know it is. My mouth is super dry. Oh. Well, I don't think there's... Any ill will between us now. So I hope we can be friends from here on out. <laughs> he says reluctantly. <laughs> right, right. Actually, when I heard about what happened, I knew I just had to meet you right away and make it right between us, Sachin. So yeah, let's be friends. Yes, I like that. Um, Sachin? Come on, if you're going to be a bother to her, at least wait until she knows you better. I'm not being a bother to her. So, yeah, do you mind if I call you Sachan? Your name is Sachi, so Sachan is the perfect nickname. I changed, like, the final letter <laughs> to two letters. Yeah. <laughs> I've actively made your name longer. Isn't that great? It's a nickname. It makes sense before we translated it. Um, okay, sure. No, it, it would have well, it, it would have been still quicker been... to have written, but yeah. it's the same number of um, syllables. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't Satsang, take any. Satsi. It's not any like, easier to say. No, it isn't. <laughs> Yay! Thanks. Oh, yeah. So you can call me whatever you want, okay? <laughs> don't call me anything I don't like. <laughs> Just don't call me late to dinner. Uh, okay then, Akimi Senpai. Do you really have to be so formal? How about Achan or Akimin? Is that a... Uh, I don't, you don't Akimin? hear that kind of thing no, as not much. Often. Cut it out. She's already got enough to deal with right now. Toma, help me out here. What do you want me to do? Stop Akimi from being Akimi? I can call you sugar face. <laughs> the, the two of us can't really get a word in edgewise while Akimi is going on like this. So Tomo starts plugging the rampaging Akimi's mouth with food from her <laughs> lunchbox. Like he did last time this happened. I'm sure last time I said, like, oh, this looks like a flirty thing. Like they're the, yeah, the secondary ship. <laughs> Go ahead. <that's> <laughs> <yours>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Akim is always too loud, so Tomo doesn't have the best manners, but I promise they're good people. Uh, okay, they haven't beaten me up. <laughs> hey, don't talk about us like we're not right in front of me. <laughs> Akim is recovering from Tomo's intervention more quickly than usual, but Tomo is ready for it, and he crams more food in her mouth Bet. as soon as she opens Bet. it. Those two have gotten pretty close. Yeah. Sorry, it's not easy keeping those two in check. If they get out of hand, just tell them to shut up. Slap them across the faces. Both at once, one slap. <laughs> no, I couldn't. 
And then when they try to do that thing where they stick their fingers in your eyes, you got to put the hand up in front of your nose. Eyes. <laughs> oh, damn, that's right. <laughs> How do you stop a punch? Like... <laughs> With a, a punch. It's fine. They're used to it. You just have to show them who's boss. <laughs> We're not animals, you know. You shouldn't just, you shouldn't listen to boys who say such mean things, Sachin. Be friends with me instead. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Sachi shies away from the rampaging Akimi, she's still smiling a little. She does look like she's having fun. Maybe she won't have such a hard time getting used to us after all. They're doing a good job of not asking about the eye. Yeah, right? I know, since we're all trying to get to know Sachan better, why don't the four of us go out this weekend? Akimi, don't pressure her into doing things. I'm not pressuring her. So what do you two think? <laughs> huh? So soon after meeting you guys? Are you sure? I don't see... Why not? But where would we go? Hmm. Oh, I just remembered that there's some <clears throat> kind of event happening in town. It's got food stands and everything. Ah. Uh, so it's just like a fair? Food stands. <laughs> really? I didn't hear about anything like that. What kind of event are we talking about? Just like a state fair or something. <laughs> No idea. The no idea event. It's just the, it's every Saturday the uh, food trucks come Akimi, around. what the hell? But I saw it on a flyer and some bulletin board somewhere. They even had a picture of the food stands. Is this a school thing? <laughs> is, it, is it like the beat up a monster festival <laughs> and we're going to have to protect like Sachi the whole time? They well, just... if it's a festival, we probably won't even have to use much money anyway. So why don't we just go check it out? If it's just in town, we can even walk there without too much trouble. They get there and there's just a whole bunch of, like, Cyclops pinatas. Oh no. <laughs> right, right. I'll find out the where and when and we'll be all set. Huh. I don't know. Sachi, are you okay with this? Y yeah, I want to go. <clears throat> Thank you for doing all this for me. Don't worry about it. We're going to hang out a lot more after this, aren't we? Aren't we? I guess we're finally going out as a group. This is basically a double date, isn't it? I don't think that's really what Akimi intended. But she and Tomo were almost a couple, no matter how you look at it. Come to think of it, I haven't really explained my relationship with Sachi to these two yet. Not that I've been meaning to hide it, but... And then it's going to turn out that they've been dating the whole time and they weren't <laughs> hiding it, they just forgot to say it. I should probably clear that up right away. Oh, right. Uh, so, Tomo, it looks like you were right about the reason I was fussing over Sachi so much. I see. Did you tell her? Yeah, it went well. I see. Well, congratulations. What are you two talking about? Oh, um, how do I answer that? Like I said, I'm not exactly trying to hide it. But I have a feeling Akimi would go crazy over me admitting that I have a crush. And I don't know if Sachi can deal with that. Plus, it's going to sound weird if you're just like, oh, me and the other boy have been talking <laughs> about feelings for you, you know, when yeah, you're not here. It's going to yeah. sound like they were way weirder about it than they were. I'll tell you about it later. Thanks, Tomo. Wait, what? I, I guess I don't mind if you tell me later, but now I'm really curious. <laughs> She's concocting all kinds of scenarios in her head about what they were talking about. Yeah. Um, Senpai? <laughs> Sachi doesn't seem to get it either, and she looks up at me with a puzzled expression. I'll tell you about it later as well. Well, it might take some time, but I'm sure Sachi will be comfortable around these two soon enough. Dots. Dots. Less dots. Dots. <laughs> what did you think of Akimi and Tomo? Not too bad, right? Not at all. Tomo-senpai seemed a little scary at first, but I realized that he wasn't scary at all once I started talking to him. Akimi-senpai is really cheerful and lively, and they both seem really nice. Weird, but nice. Yeah. Akimi wanted to walk home with Sachi and me after school. But her and Tomo's houses are in the opposite direction. As Tomo was dragging her off, she waved at Sachi and yelled, See you tomorrow. And we started heading home ourselves. 
taking the same path we always do. You know, if she's bothering you, there's nothing wrong with telling her so. She certainly has a lot of energy, but I really like being around her. If I could talk to people as easily as she does, I think I'd be really happy. I'm glad that you like her so much, then. I think you'll get used to their quirks. To be honest, I haven't known them that long myself. It's like the middle of the school year and he just moved here, I forgot. Mm -hmm. I've never had any plans for the weekend, though, aside from our... Anyway, I'm looking forward to going out with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Akimi came up with a good plan this time, it seems. But yeah, let loose and... Okay, this is structured really bad. But yeah, it's gonna be great. Fun. <laughs> Akimi came up with a good plan this time, it seems. But yeah, let loose and have fun. There it is. It's like she came up with a good plan, it seems, against all odds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll try. Don't try to have fun, just, you know, have fun. It's a bit of an order. Yeah. That's not what I mean, it's just I have a lot to worry about now. Don't... What do okay. you mean? We're going to be hanging out with other people, so I don't want to look all shabby like this with my clothes all tattered and stuff, since I'm your girlfriend now, I mean. <laughs> I can't change my face, and I don't have any stylish clothes, but I can at least brush my hair and cover up my wounds. <laughs> Did you have to phrase it that way? Like, cover up my wounds? I mean, they're Instead already of, bandaged. Like, you didn't even have to say, I need to bandage myself. It's like, dude, come on. Like, you're drawing attention to problems. <laughs> well, yeah, that wouldn't hurt. Oh, that's kind of a dick thing to say. Yeah, just reassure her. I think I should take the bandage off my head, too. Oh, right, senpai. Oh no, yeah? it's gonna turn out her, her head, there's like a <laughs> like stitching and an exposed brain. She takes it off and she's got three eyes under oh! it. <laughs> she's got a total of four and it's like, oh, oh. god. <laughs> yeah? Do, do you want to touch my scar? Oh, this again? On her head? Like, huh? I didn't think she'd ever bring that up again. I'm not really sure what to say. The one on my forehead, I mean. It doesn't hurt anymore, so it's fine if you want to touch it, do you? Uh, that, um... I mean, last time you let me, it it was because you wanted to repay me. Is is that what you're, you're doing now? She just thinks you're into it, dude. <laughs> I am still grateful to you, Mamoru-senpai, and I will still want to repay you, but I'm, I'm your girlfriend, so... This time, it's because I want to make you happy. This <laughs> she thinks this is your thing. You've been pigeonholed. You, you're oh, the scars no. guy. Oh, God, no. You're the, this is going to oh. follow you. Well, thanks. That It does make me happy. <laughs> you're going to walk into class a few weeks from now, and everyone's going to be like, hey, it's the scars guy, and everyone's going to giggle. I, I know it's just a weird thing to ask. You don't have to if you don't want to. Just forget it. No, no, I, 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 I do want to. The words came out of my mouth before I could stop myself. Uh, okay. <laughs> she seems set on it, I guess. I can't get out of this. I know she wants to do something nice for me, but isn't this kind of strange? Not that I don't have any interest in touching her scars. It's not but... like I don't want to do it. <laughs> Wait, are we doing this here? Aren't we on the way home from school? I guess we are on a street without anyone else around, but... Oh, um, this way, senpai. Let's go to the woods and you can touch my scars. <laughs> and make <laughs> she... new ones. <laughs> no. She... <laughs> <laughs> she takes me by the hand and leads me into a narrow, narrow alleyway between two buildings. And gives you some scars. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, um... Okay, can you take off my bandage, please? She leans her back against the nearby wall and looks at me expectantly. Moving here hasn't really changed anything. It'll just be a lot stranger if anyone happens upon us. Yeah, because... It'll look a lot worse. Yeah, like, technically, technically you're kind of undressing her head. I, I guess. It looks real weird. And anyone who walks past this alleyway will probably be able to see us. The space between Sachi and me suddenly seems almost solid, 
but I force myself to wade through it, as she keeps an eye focused on me. All right, just a second. I can't help but hesitate a bit, but after a moment I steel myself. I put my own bag down next to Sachi's and face her. In battle. Right, I have to take off her bandages first, I guess. I reach my hand towards Sachi's bandages and begin to unfasten them as Sachi tilts her head forward and closes her eye. <laughs> as I take it off, her brain spills out. <laughs> I'm only taking off her bandages, but she suddenly looks completely vulnerable. I start to feel like I'm about to uh. violate her somehow. Uh. I begin to unravel the bandages from her head, looping them around my hands so they don't fall to the floor. I'm getting infected. <laughs> yeah. As I remove more and more of the wrapping, the gauze beneath it begins to show. Finally, I get the last of it off, and I discard what I've collected on top of our stuff. With the bandages off of her head, Sachi opens her eye and looks up at me. <laughs> and then it goes into the motion controls, and we gotta, like, move her hair around. She poke her in the eye a bunch, uh, like, just non-stop. Our score will go down. <laughs> I don't even care. You can't even see anything with the bangs. This looks like a surrealism, like like a screenshot from from like a I don't know, like an outsider game or it something. It kind of is. <laughs> I look down to meet her eye as it's gleaming wetly from the faint light that penetrates the alley. Ugh. Gazing at the upturned eye before me, I suddenly feel like I'm falling into it. The feeling is so intense. And I can't tear myself away from that black pit. Is it hypnotism now? Is that... Is, I don't know. Describing himself falling into her eye is a little uh, weird, considering the size of the eye. <laughs> also, yeah. I mean, when you see black in an eye like that, it, it's the darkness of the... the um, that's the, the opening. Yeah, that, that's the opening of an eye. I mean, that's where the light is supposed to there's go. There's goo in front of it. Like, there's eye in front of it, but there is kind of a hole there. Well, that's literally the black part of the eye. The iris is mm. just a hole in in the the cellar, mm. I, I think. No. Uh, oh God. What I mean, it? there's stuff in front of it, Around so it's not pupil. like you literally yeah. just have like an open space. But it's it's so. like. Here's the thing, right? Like, at an if an eye was this size, I cannot, cannot help but wonder if the light would shine into it so that you could see like the so floaters that, yeah in so that you'd be well no you wouldn't see floaters but like would you be able to see the lens and the rest of the the inside of the eyeball maybe because like a, 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 like i shouldn't get into this too much i'm too but it's aware like, of my eyes now <laughs> as a, like if somebody was a giant and you looked into their eye and the light was shining into it would you be able to see into the eyeball itself Stop making me think about my eyeballs. I think this is why eyes don't get this big to begin with. And I have two of them, so it's grosser. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> this looks even weirder. I gotta be real. Yeah, when it's closed like that, it's just like, what? where's her face? 